Right, so if you think I'm sitting here, chilled, laid back, comfortable, that's because I am. Keep watching. Right, so if you're after a nice, comfortable, lightweight, foldable, packs down small, weighs little chair, whether it's for a guest or for yourself, this is probably the chair for you. Right, so as you can see, I'm in the Fox Frontier X. I've got behind me the Fox Flatliner bed chair. It's not pushed right to the back. It's close to the back, but not right to the back. So I've got some um, bags at the back. And so this is sitting just in front of the bed chair. My legs, they're not outstretched. They're just comfortably sort of crossed out in front of me and they're still underneath the peak. My knees are in the bivy and my feet are just outside the door. So even if it's raining, I'm still under cover. So this is a lovely little chair just to sit in front of your bed in front of the bivy. So here's a quick look at it on the outside. It's got EVA handles. It's lightweight, 2.75 kilograms. It's compact, light, camouflage pattern, R-Series guest chair. This is an ideal chair if you've got a low bivy as well because it is quite low to the ground. Now for the less mobile, the less agile, whatever you want to call it, then this might not be the chair for you because it is quite low. I've got a dodgy leg, but I can get out of this quite quite easily because of the arms, the handles and that sort of stuff. So what I do is uh, I'll jump out. So as you can see, chilled out, sitting by the bivy, watching the water. If you do get a run, you've got handles on the side, it's just straight out. So there you can see it all set out, dead easy to fold up. You just basically hand there and there, and it's, it's folded up, ready to go. As you can see on the bottom, there's some mud feet. They're not massive, but they're big enough. Folds down nice and compact, easy to set up. You just basically put it out, and you're ready to go. And because it folds down nice and small, it's so easy to slip under the bed chair, slip at the top end, bottom end, behind it, underneath it, anywhere. So if you're looking for a cheap, foldable, lightweight, portable, stick anywhere when you're not using it type of chair, this is ideal. And they're around about 40 to 45 pound-ish. Um, I've had this now probably about four, five, six months, uh, thanks to Luke Badge, and he showed me this when we were on a social down in Linear with his dad. Um, great bit of kit, I saw it and he sort of showed me. I had a sit in it and I thought, yeah, this, this has got to get one of these. I don't use it all the time. I use it a lot when I'm barren at quite a distance and don't want to take my bigger chair, which I've just got. I, 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 as those of you that follow me know that I use a bucket for years, but I have to get a bit more comfort now. And I want something nice and lightweight, not too much money that I could just chuck in it under a bed or chuck somewhere out of the way and just get it out when I need it. So yeah, this, this is an ideal bit of kit. I really like it because it's quite low. So when you're sitting down nice and low, you can just chuck your legs out and it feels like you're more or less sitting on the floor, but you haven't, you've got the comfort of sitting in a chair. Um, I fell asleep in this quite a few times, but um, yeah, so if you're looking for a nice little cheap chair, whether it's for a guest chair, whether it's for yourself or whatever, or a secondary chair, this is an ideal bit of kit for you. Have a look at them, give them a try. Go in a shop, sit on it. It's, uh, I've got a, a bit of a dodgy leg of where I smashed years ago, and this is actually quite comfortable because it's got no framework under the front. Anything that's got a framework under the front make, it hurts my leg, but this is actually really comfortable. So uh, yeah, have a go and have a look at them and try and give them a try.